in life, everything has a taste. And one of the greatest tastes is relationship. That, you know, people say, oh, this relationship left a bitter taste in my mouth. There are relationships that does that. But there are sweet relationships that have sweet taste. Just like in food, you have food that tastes really amazing. And majority of the people who really don't enjoy their religion is because they have never tasted it. There's a taste in the religion. There's a taste in the ibadah. Iqbal said, Sajdai ishq ho to ibadat me maza'ata hai. If sajda is made with love, it is then that you can taste the sweetness of your worship. That, the secret sauce, the secret recipe of all of the relationship is love. The Persian, they have a really a, a beautiful metaphor for cooking. And when you cook, there are two ingredients that are really incredible. One is saffron and one is salt. Saffron, according to Guinness Book of World Record, is the most expensive food on the planet. Saffron is the most expensive food on the planet. And what Allah has done is incredible for people just to reflect on that. Allah has made the dirt of paradise saffron. Just to show how worthless this dunya is. But saffron is very expensive. You can't buy it by kilogram. You buy it by grams, right? One gram, two gram. And when you put on the food, you are very careful about it. You really don't want to waste. You don't, you, nothing of the saffron goes outside the plate or outside the pot, right? Because it's expensive. But what does saffron do to the food? Not much. It changes the color a little bit. It doesn't really add anything to the taste of the food. What add taste to the food is the salt. But how do we pour salt? Shh, like that. And if it falls around, it's okay. We just put it and then throw it in the trap. Sometimes relationships become salt relationship because we're always there. And it's plenty of it. That is a relationship that an ingrate looks at life. When they see their wives all the time, when they see their husband all the time, and they become like salt to them. And yet if you remove that from the food, it's tasteless. There's no taste in the food. No matter how much saffron you put in, there's no taste in the food. Nobody will eat that food without salt. But if you put too much salt, what happens? It becomes salty. Is there a cure for that? Yes. You just put some lemon and it balances it out. This is why relationship of a husband and wife is a relationship of salt. But you cannot really abuse it. Just because it looks worthless, it is not worthless, it's actually priceless. It's more expensive than the saffron in the relationship. It's more important than the saffron, the salt. Yet we are not careful about it. We just throw it on it. So in life, everything, the remedy is love. And that salt, the truth of that salt, there's love in it. And that's why it makes it tasty. And that's why if you look at people, you ask them, what is your favorite food? What is the answer they tell you? My mom's cooking. Right? I've, heard, I've eaten some mom's cooking. It was horrible. I'm like, this is your favorite food? But I couldn't say it. But it was their favorite food because she had so much love in the recipe for the child. Not for me as a guest. It was for the child. So they grew up with that recipe of love and it's the best food. You can eat it as your mother's food. But for you, don't serve everybody else your mother's food because sometimes it backfires. But anyways, my point is that relationship, don't take things for granted because it's just there for you. That is really, you know, the, the Quran calls them losers. They, these people are losers when they, they're ingrates. They take things for granted. They take their friends for granted because they're there for them all the time. But that's the relationship. Salt is the most important thing in the pot. And if you don't have that, you have no taste in the food. And if you don't have that and you don't appreciate it, 
then you don't have any taste in your relationship. So relationships are really built upon that which is there all the time. And in this culture, they say, oh, you have to be distant away to appreciate each other. No. You appreciate each other when you're close to each other. You appreciate your, each other at every stage. This is, you know, Maulana said something really incredible. He said, he said uh, I wonder why when people get angry, they shout at each other. And yet they're so close. He said, because their hearts are so far away from each other. So they have to shout in order to get the point across. And she's like two feet away. Right? If you're in Yemen, but your heart is with me, you're actually right next to me. But if you're right next to me and your heart is in Yemen, you're in Yemen. Mm-hmm. It's where the hearts are. It's not how physically close you are to each other. There's so many people that marriages get destroyed. It is not because they're far or they're close. It's how far their hearts are from each other. Right? If your hearts are close, it doesn't matter if you're far or if you're close to each other. You really appreciate it because the hearts, there's a, you know, Mawlana Rumi said that there's little windows there are little windows between the hearts that mysteries travel. And sometimes you really don't have to say anything. And, and I, I really don't like to mention anything about my personal life, but an advice for, for our beloved groom uh, here. I, I, after like many, many years of marriage, I told my wife, I said, you know, wait a second. You never told me you love me. <laughs> And I tell you that like every day. Like I've you never said I love you. Like and she just gave me this look and she said, Do I have to say it? And it melted me like I just, you know, it just ah dagger in my heart. That all of those I love you's that I said, it just canceled out with just one word. Do I have to say it? Like you don't see it, you don't taste it in the food. Like, you don't taste it. That, the recipe is love. You don't see it when you come home, how everything is perfectly organized, how it's clean. You don't see it in your clothes. You don't see it like the bed is made up so beautifully and the sheets are changing every week and everything is just like, what is that? Who, who you think I'm just doing it because like I'm your servant? I do it because I love you. It's all I love. And that's, those are the things that really speech, words are, you know, become unnecessary sometimes. You don't have to really say it. It's in the action. But you have to be able to see it. See it in your husband. See it in your wife. And that is the recipe for success in a marriage. The recipe for success is to see the love in action like a ballerina just dancing for you all the time. Every morsel of food, you would see the recipe in there. Every cup of tea, you see the recipe that this is made with love. And I tell you one time, our, our sheikh came to our house and we were having, she said, your wife is the best cook, Afghan cook, I have best food I ever had, Afghan, anywhere. I said, by Allah, I swear by Allah, she makes the same kabali palau. When you're not here, it doesn't taste as good. When you're not here, it doesn't taste as good. But when you're here, because I know how excited she is to cook, and how much love she puts in, and how much Quran she reads, and how much she just keeps reading. She doesn't want to talk. Just Dalai al Khairat. She just keeps reading and make dua as she's preparing and cooking. That love, you can taste it in the food, right? And you can taste it in your relationship. And that's what's important, to keep the relationship wholesome. And not to forget, salt's always all over, cheap, it's there all the time. But if you don't have salt, you have a tasteless life, my friend. You have a tasteless life, which does not last. Nobody likes to eat saltless food unless they're sick. Unless they're sick. And sick people, the moment they get healed, where do they go? Salt. Back to salt. Put some salt in it so we can get some taste. May your relationship be a salty one, inshallah. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm-
and appreciate it and have some saffron on it for the looks and for the uh, just for the design and decoration but don't forget the salt and don't waste the salt and if it falls aside pick it up and put it back in the bucket inshallah that's right okay sallallahu ta'ala sayyidina muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika ya rahim